So today we are going to cover what is Cisco ACI, uh, what is architecture, uh, uh, what is its logical model, and you know all what are all hardwares we we use to you know uh, configure and you know implement the ACI in our data center. <coughs> so first we will talk about what is the SDN overlay networking, and then what are all over uh, overview and terminology of the ACI, and then logical model. So, what, what is the a SDN stands for? SDN stands for Software Defined Networking. So, if you talk about you know the first or a second versions of the SDN, so SDN says that we have a two types of boxes. One is the black box and one is the white box. So, all the control plane will reside in the controller only, and then a controller will provide a flow table to all the switches through which your data plane works so in the sdn the earlier ver version was you have the controller there you have all the control plane controller sends a flow table to all the switches and from the switches uh, as the flow table it's just like a you know a fib forwarding information base it is a data plane so a traffic will come from here switch will switch will search the flow table it will find the flow and then it will forward it right so it was the general basic concept of the sdn but now what happens uh, when different different vendors they started you know uh, uh, creating its own SDN solutions so like if you talk about Cisco what Cisco does Cisco created the ACI if you talk about VMware VMware created the NSX if you talk about the Juniper Juniper created the control uh, contrail so there are different different versions and these are commercial solutions of the uh, vendors right these are not open standards so if you talk about the open standard you know SDN solution there are other uh, solutions like ODL, ONOS. So these are all the open standard which can be integrated in any of the uh, you know switches which supports open flow. So open flow is a protocol which a controller used to send its flow table to the southbound switches. So any switch which supports open flow protocol that can be integrated with these ODL and ONOS. These are the open standard uh, SDN solution. But for the specific vendors like Cisco, we, uh, you know, uh, VMware and Juniper, they have their specific protocols that is used to send all their, you know, information from controller to the your switches. Now, earlier what happens? Our industry is trending. Like all our, you know, data center, they are migrating to the Oracle's, you know, Amazon Web Services, Azure Cloud, Oracle Cloud, Salesforce.com, right? They all depend upon virtualization storage network devices now if you talk about the sdn sdn also depends upon all these devices if you talk about all the you know another uh, programmability protocol like python devops puppet ansible all these depends upon these all hardware so by using these all hardware we can produce a product so and that we call as a software defined networking so in a nutshell, if you talk, what is SDN? SDN is a software defined networking that makes your network on demand. So just, you know, relate it that you have a data center and, you know, and, and, and there is one application going to be launched. What will happen? So what will do the server team will build the server then the request will come to the new network team. Network team will configure all its VLANs, trunk, SVIs, access list, all, all, all it will be configured. Then it will go, go to the security team. Security will configure all the flows in their firewalls. Then it will go to the load balancer. Load balancer guy will configure it, you know, all the VIPs, that is external VIP, internal VIP. And then, you know, again, the request will go to this, you know, application team. Application team will install all the applications on that server and then filing testing will be done. So all these process takes around 90 to 100 days. 
to commission a particular applications but what's the sdn is you have to express your desire in the controller that was this is my source this is my destination and all these two will talk on particular port right as soon as you desire your express your desire in your you know controller and as soon as you connect the servers build the application on it the network will be ready so there will be no you know manual effort that needs to be con used to configure your load balancer security firewall switches router blah 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 so all everything you have to express your desire to the controller only only one device once controller once you have configured your controller properly with the source destination and you know proper flow between them you connect your endpoints and the network will be ready so by using these you know advanced automation we can we can you know safely say that an application can be commissioned within a week so rather it was taking a 100 days now it's taking a 7 days so see how fast your sdn has made your life easy and then sdn it works on see what i said control plane control plane will use the you know, open flow then policy controller and then it will send it to the data plane data plane means on the switches it can use network virtualization network virtualization means if you have a vmware or you know if you are using a nexus then you can virtualize it you can use you know a programmability also like python like ansible all these can be integrated and it call comes under a sdn solution so if you if you want to configure your controller you can configure manually if you can want to configure your controller you can configure you know via programmability like you can use python script you can use json script you can use xml script you can use you know uh, ansible script and so with the help of a script you can also configure it so there is no need to much you know uh, uh, put the admins of every technology like security team have a 10 people network admin have a 10 people load balancer have a five people all all these other one man can do everything right so what is the aci application centric infrastructure right the, what is the problem here the problem here the traditional approach takes a long operational view with no common operational model between the application network security and cloud teams everyone will have their own policies everyone have their own standard of working everyone there has you know their own processes and it took a month from application team to make an application ready and put it in the production so what is the solution of that an application centric approach to manage your infrastructure and what are all these following benefits these are the following benefits application delivered in a business time reduction in the time to the service delivery application readiness days to minutes end to end application health score you can you know you can even uh, check your application health score and still you can meet this sla's aci makes the infrastructure in a such a way that application changes network changes so suppose on one switch you connected your server later you find that okay i have to move this you know server from one switch to another switch you have to you don't have to worry you don't have to configure anything you just take it out plug it to the another switch because you have already expressed your desire with the source ip destination ip ports and all other stuff what aci will do the controller will instantiate that policy to that switch on which you have connected your server automatically you don't have to you know again reconfigure everything like we traditional do in our traditional data center aci can help you know it it can provide the grid greater productivity accuracy easier scaling right aci promotes the consistency of the policies and services for on premise and cloud apps so with the help of aci you can make your policy be consistent so suppose if there is a x server and if you want i mean if you want that that server should only allow 443 that in that by 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 using the aci you can do that you can do the micro segmentation micro segmentation means in a segment suppose there are a three or four or five workloads and you want they should also not talk to each other so what is the traditional method traditional method is 
VACL. I mean, Mac access list you configure. But how much access list you configure? A more access list, there will be a more utilization of the TCAM. But here, you can, with the, with the help of micro segmentation, you can achieve this. So even though in a segment, if you don't want your workload to talk to each other, you can easily do that. You have to only express your desire, nothing else. All the automation can be done. Automation of the network provisioning, automation of the security provisioning that you can do. So these are all, you know, benefits of the ACI. So what, 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 in a nutshell, what I can say, uh, ACI is a programmable network or ACI provides a program, programmable network, application changes, network changes, or you express your desire, network is ready. You don't have to take different, different admins to configure a different, different, you know, devices, which are in between from your source to destination. Thank <laughs> you.